why I became a climate realist. In 2017, when I retired from Environment Canada, I believed the carbon dioxide humans were adding to the atmosphere was a serious problem. To do my part reducing it, I'd purchased a hybrid vehicle and expected my next vehicle would be fully electric. In 2018, while skiing, surprise, I met an economist. Upon learning I was a meteorologist, he peppered me with many questions about climate and carbon dioxide. He'd done his homework, clearly knew far more than me, and had doubts about the legitimacy of many climate claims. I had no answers, and I was extremely embarrassed by my ignorance. Not wanting that to happen again, I began a deep dive into climate. While employed at EC, whenever I had questions about climate change, I'd ask a senior climate researcher in the office. When I mentioned the arguments of contrarians, my colleague disparaged these individuals. I presumed he knew the field, after all, he was a climate scientist, and blindly accepted the ad hominem attacks. I even repeated them to others, something I deeply regret. Naturally, my dive into climate began with these contrarians, and to my great surprise, my take on climate change shifted in a direction I never expected. Today, I fully appreciate the contrarian arguments of many great scientists. I no longer consider human added carbon dioxide a serious problem, and I'm surprisingly comfortable with Tony Heller's claim that hysteria is rooted in a hoax. That's quite a switch for a former EC spokesman who spent all of his career publicly accepting and hence promoting the orthodox view.